Question 9, skull, the orbit. Here you see the orbit. This is the left orbit. You can see you have a frontal view. You have the orbital opening. The borders are the frontal bone, the sigmatic bone, and the maxillary bone. The important structures are the optic canal that transmits the optic nerve, central artery of retina. Then you have a superior orbital fissure that transmits uh, that transmits the third, the fourth, the sixth and the first branch of fifth nerve, cranial nerves, and also ophthalmic artery and vein. And then you have inferior orbital fissure. The borders are the greater wings and maxilla. It transmits infraorbital nerve and inferior ophthalmic vein. The borders of superior orbital fissure are the greater wings and lesser wings of sphenoid bone. Now you have superior, medial, inferior and lateral wall. The superior wall consists of the frontal bone, the orbital part, orbital surface, the sphenoid bone, the lesser wing, and you have the medial wall, which consists of the maxilla, the frontal process, the lacrimal bone, and ethmoid bone. This is the lateral plate of the lab labyrinths. Next you have the lateral wall. This is, this is the sigmatic bone. This is the sphenoid bone, the greater wing orbital surface. And lastly we have inferior wall. This is now we're looking down into the orbit. The inferior wall is made up of sigmatic bone and maxilla, the orbital surface of the body.